Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as the forces of JDB's kitchen hold off the double declare and retain their regional control. KOTT News caught up with the kitchen staff who were ramping up payouts in the Church of Windsward. Before breaking news of action on the front line got us all a fluster with some world PvP. The action was intense in Everfall, and reports came in from Reekwater as well, as members of the community let out their frustration at the seasonal setback announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, war correspondent John Shallant, KOTT News here on the scene in Everfall, where the forces of JDB's kitchen are currently assaulting the Fort Outcast. Where, and other members, other syndicate factions, excuse me, other factions in general of all types and ilk are out here. It is a three-way fight for dominance on the Everhills, Everfall Hills. The heavyweight champions, nowhere to be found. Other members of the Covenant out here fighting under their behest. Look out. Don't die, stay alive. Oh, indeed, sir. Good day, good day, good day. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta make sure to get in hunkered in close here. As we continue to investigate, let's see who's here. It's Iron Reavers making a move out on the JDB's kitchen. Iron Reavers both trying to push influence against the forces of Outcast out here in Everfall. There were other, other out Covenant forces, but I cannot determine who it was at this time. There they are. Yellow Rain, Yellow Rain. There are several members of Yellow Rain making moves inside the fort. It looks like they've decided to take the fight off fort down into the valley below. As they go down and fighting on the roads down by the fort. They are officially spawn camping, ladies and gentlemen. Turning to the weather for today, and it's going to be a pleasant day of sunshine all afternoon long. Then look out after sundown for a scattering of invasion forces rising up across 20% of the island. No roster submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by Patch Pushback, but we'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.